Not enough calls. The second biggest mistake made with follow-up is not enough contacts, not enough different contacts. Frequency, often enough, volume, all of those would basically engulf this area of not enough. Consider this, 80% of all sales are made between the 5th and the 12th contact. I don't even have enough fingers to do this. I need 12 contacts, 12 contacts to make some of these sales. The average salesperson doesn't make any calls. I think 2% of all of them are made after 2 calls. The numbers are ridiculous, 80% require at least 5 requests, 5 follow-ups. 5, are you going to do this? Could we do this? What would it take to do this? What can I take? Well, can I bring it to you right now? Could I change your mind? Anything. Not enough calls is the number two biggest reason you're not being effective. Not enough contacts, not enough follow-up. If you think it's going to be one or two or three or four of your buddies who are, oh, the guy never calls me back. Nobody ever answers the phone. Knock it off, man. You left the hospital as a baby at least 40 years ago. You don't need to go back there now. Act like a grown-up. This is the real world. There's 7 billion people on this planet competing with gravity. You're not making enough phone calls. You're not making enough emails. You're not sending enough texts out. You're not making enough contacts for anyone to even know you exist. It's the same problem for you on social media. You don't exist. You tweet twice a day into a billion universe of tweets. Nobody knows you exist and you're competing with Kim Kardashian and Kanye in their breakup. You understand? Not enough, not often enough. Not enough volume of contacts to make a difference. One or two won't do it, 5 to 12, think with that it's not enough calls is the second biggest mistake in follow-up.